So here we are at the Park City Center Mall in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Now, this is my personal favorite thriving mall. I'm pretty sure you'll see that it is indeed thriving in there. Tough to find a parking spot. Not to mention we're here on a Friday night, so it should be packed in here. So shall we take a look? Well, this is, this is the spot right here where they call the fountain shops. Mostly because of the fountain that sits out in front. That is no longer here. This whole red area used to be a spot with a fountain. And now I mean, it, it has, is gone. It, it hasn't been a fountain for quite some time. It was a planter, but at least it was still there. Now, they got a little like spot here where it's only outside uh, access stores. You know, there's, there's, there's nothing special. You know, you got some high-end places like Versona and J. Jill and there's a lens crafters out here in the restaurant and aside from that I think I think all the happening stuff's inside you want to go check it out absolutely that's what we're here for mm-hmm now uh I've said this before, but what an incredible waste of ink that tells you absolutely nothing. I sure would love to know when the mall hours are, don't, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But see, that just means that they can change them at any time without having to print up more signs. It saves them money. It doesn't save them any money. Printing a QR code uses a hell of a lot more ink. But they have to do that sign once. <laughs> What a bunch of butts. They can just change it in the system. Brookfoot are a bunch of butts. Just put the hours up. Agreed. Now this mall has an interesting design. Now if you've been to our channel before, you've probably seen this place and you know. But it's a big circle in the center of the mall with little hallways coming out like spokes of a wheel. And the anchors are at the end of the hallways. Yeah. It's one pretty, of the most cool designs of a mall I've ever been in. It's pretty cool because, like, the center court area, you know, it's a cool enough design, but they put a big tent roof right here. Yeah, it's a big old circus tent type roof in here. Which is very neat. And there's a few other malls in the country that have a configuration like this, but there's not that many. And this is one of the bigger tent roofs that I've ever seen. So going around here, you can see... They have named each one of the wings after the anchor store that occupies it. You got a Penny's wing. You got a Cole's wing. You got a wing anchored by Round One. I think that's where Bonton was, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's where the that, Bonton was. It used to be the Bonton down by Round One. And you got a couple of little hallways that are just like access hallways, like the East Shops were over there, and over there you see the South Shops. You got your Boskov's wing. Uh, actually, Bonton was over there. I think that's Sears back there. Yeah, the round one was Sears. But over here, you can see they just put BT where the Bonton wing used to be. That's right, because there's, I think there's like a community area or something over there now. Yeah. But as you can see, this, this mall is not hurting at all. Not at all. This is one of the most hopping, happening places. We've been to many thriving malls, and you know, a lot of them are cool. But this, I don't know. I I just really like being here. You know what I mean? The last time we were here was around Christmas last year, and if you want to see how big they do it up for the holidays, I highly suggest you check out our previous video. Christmas 2021. Yeah, it, it was a pretty big display they had in the center court. But you know, I mean, if I don't be paying attention, but there's no shortage of national name brands in this place. Yes. I mean, hell, they, they even still have a Charlotte Russe over there. Check that out. How many yeah. Charlotte Russes do you see around anymore? Yeah, that was a company that kind of went under and then kind of bounced back. So. Well. You only find them in places they're doing really well. Yeah. 
Like, it used to be a Charlotte Russe everywhere, but now it's just, you know, it's just where it's doing well. But, you know, down the box, Boscov's wing here, it's like, it's all national name brands, pretty, pretty nice ones too. And yes, the place is super duper white, but it's, it's not bland like a Simon Mall would be, you know? Not at all. <laughs> it's like, this place is, but it has undergone a lot of changes over the years, frankly. Oh, it definitely Because it's one of has. those places that, it's been here a long, long time. And it's like, you can kind of see a little tiny bit of that in that wall over there, be that of the old stucco like brick stuff, you know? But because of that design, this video is going to be a little bit different of a format. We'll see you in just a minute. Hey, welcome back. We find ourselves in center court again. Of course, through the we're, magic of editing. Through the magic of time, here we are. <laughs> now let's go down the round one hallway here. I, I think we figured it out. This was the Sears hallway. Yeah, yeah, this was Sears. Wow, look at all the bougie stuff you can get for your dog. Oh wow. A fancy dog boutique. It's the oh, bougie. Isn't that funny? Oh I like that. How are you guys today? Hey, oh, pretty good. How that's you doing? Funny. You guys have dogs and cats or just cats? Oh what? we don't have any We don't have any, we have any no. Pets. We can't have the them cat. in our apartments. So. I just think the cat in the turntable is hilarious. <laughs> 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 that was a fun little shop, huh? <laughs> But I like all the bougie shit you can get for your animals there. <laughs> <laughs> I think I even saw like, you know, doggy CBD stuff and whatnot. Well, yeah, you got to keep your dog healthy. Yeah, well, and, and your dog is just under so much stress. Well, you know, dogs have stress. But here, it's, you were mentioning this before. It, this is where the Arby's was. Yeah, that's where the Arby's was. It, it's like, it was a really cool Arby's. And it's like, it popped through to one of the other spokes of the wheel. Yeah, you, pretty cool. you could just pop out either side and find yourself in a different hallway. Uh, you can hear it a little bit. Fun is being had. Fun is being had, yes. <laughs> this end of the mall. I like these uh, I like, I like these little skylights with the uh, what do they call them? Egg-shaped lamps underneath. Yeah, yeah. I would classify those as maybe like egg shapes. Yeah, something like that. Look how dark it is in this fog. Oh my goodness. You would think that's closed. There are people in there. It's highly relaxing, though. Well, that's probably why. It's a spa, a yeah. nice little... They probably hated when this place was down Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. It's a nice relaxing spa right next to the round one. God. <laughs> yeah, they better have some headphones and some serious new age music going on. Right? <laughs> Put your headphones. Yeah, exactly. Now, I'm not going to tour around one, but we'll just poke our head inside real quick. Hey, they're up until 2 a.m. Isn't that cool? Extensive place, don't you think? Yeah, you can hear yourself thinking here. I can't even hear what you're talking in here. Wow, look at it. Spocha. It's like a basketball thing. Wow. I don't know. You got basketball nets back there. That's not bad. Lots of noise. Oh yeah, I imagine the people at the Zen Spa are pissed. <laughs> You're ruining their chill over here. The secret is, I guess, you have to come to the spa at like 2 in the afternoon before that madness gets going on Friday night. Yeah, don't come to the spa on Friday. <laughs> Yeah. 
Here we are back at center court yet again. But that's how this mall operates. You got to just keep coming back. And this is a, this is the Coles wing right here. There's really not much to this. This is a tiny little thing. You got to go downstairs to get into Coles. It was a very strange thing because you, you go to the food court, which is also downstairs, and there's a Coles right there. You're like, huh? What's this doing here? <laughs> Well, there used to be, was, wasn't there like a skating rink down here? I think they did have a skating rink before the food court, yeah. Yeah, I think there used to be a skating rink where the food court was. Oh, they got a little bit of neon and there's this old tailor over here. Oh, I remember this place. Yeah, the, the uh, Brennan, Brennamans. Hey, I'll take a neon where I can get it, right? Yeah, nowadays you certainly do. All right, now let's take an escalator ride. Single person escalator, too. Oh, there's a gym over there, too. Is that? Yeah, yeah, the entrance to the gym is over there. Yeah, there's that gym down there. So you gotta come down here to go to Coles or to go to the UFC gym. Oh yeah, that's right, they got these cool signs over here. Yeah, I like the Park City little logo over there. That's nice. So, something I never noticed before. Tucked away in this little corner that I've never looked at. Apparently there's a, a hallway that leads to mall offices. And it's propped open today. Let's go take a look at what's in here. I've never been in this one. Looks interesting. Oh, what is this coming up? Look at that tile work. That does not look modern at all. Just, I don't know if you know, this mall has been renovated to, de to death and back. And I'm pretty sure it, it used to look a lot like this. See those old benches? And those really nice lamps. Pretty sure if you came to this mall in the 70s, it would look a lot like this. Wow, isn't this neat? Yeah, this is cool. Isn't this neat? Wow. Get the dark tan and the brown tiles and the old plants. Doesn't that look cozy? It's almost the same thing. Yeah. I wonder if these plants are real. What's that? It's, you know, this room is certainly a step back in time. I can't believe this. You can definitely tell how old this stuff is. Oh, that is cool. I'm glad we stumbled upon this today. Oh, check out the boss house, babe, over here. There's a nice close-up shot right there of that huge spire. They can't have too many angles of that thing, right? <laughs> let's, let's head down the J.C. Penny wing now. This takes you to the food court, which you have to go downstairs to get to. It's a pretty nice food court, though. I like it. 
Yeah, there's two different ways you can get to the food court. You can either go where we just were downstairs by the poles and cut through the poles, or you can come down this wing and go down the escalators here to access it. Yeah. Well, this is the way I'm used to going, by, by pennies. Yeah, it's the way we always go. Because, like, for the longest time, we were coming here during the height of the pandemic and whatnot, and they had the entrances to the department stores closed. So you couldn't even go that way. But yeah, this is a very fun mall because it's like it's very lively. You know, I always feel like I'm at like a, a shore mall or something like that when I'm here. You know, it's just so carefree. You know, and there's people, there's people around here who want to try and act like this mall's dying. I don't think so. Not uh -huh. even a little bit. People need perspective in their lives. You know, people need a little bit more perspective. You know, go down to York and, and you know, see what York is like. You're not going to think Park City's dying. Park City is doing just fine. I don't see this place going anywhere anytime soon. Mm -mm. I mean, just take take a look at how many national brands we've seen so far. You know, even they even have a Hallmark store. Yeah, I was going like to say most of the Hallmark stores and malls are closing even, up. Even Hallmark, they're going away and they're still here. They got a bucks a million. That's cool. Oh, look at this. It's an airsoft shooting place. Ah, nice. You know, so you can come in here and shoot some targets. That's cool. Oh, here's another one of those signs. They got a decent FYE too. It's one of the old blue ones. Yeah, it looks like a full-size one, too. That goes way back in there. Oh, they got CDs and everything. <laughs> that sucks when that's a rare thing, isn't it? It kind of it does. Right. Here we go, downstairs into the food court. I'm really not a fan of when you see ads for hospitals all over the place, you know? Yeah, yeah. But, you know, they pay the bills. But it's not like the kind of thing that, that's like, yay, let's shop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what I mean. It's like, oh, a hospital, ooh. Now, before... Yeah, this place does have a really respectable food court. Now, before we tour the food court, let's go over and check out this little arcade here. The pocket change. Hello, just so you know, 15 minute warning, the machine will be shutting off in 15 minutes. Thank you. Right, thank you. It's a 15 minute warning, this place is almost closed. But there's a decent amount of stuff in here, you know, it's, it's not all claw machines and stuff. Anything I help you with? We're just touring around. Now, thank you very much. What you got there in your hand? This is a camera. A camera? I see. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Where are you guys from? We're from Philadelphia. Philadelphia, I see. Well, welcome to Pocket Change. City. Thank you very much. Thank you. See, just be honest with people, right? Right. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm filming. <laughs> Some free publicity for your business. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> But you can see, you can see here the coals down there, right in the middle of the uh, food court. Blazing Jays. I think I've seen that before somewhere. Now this is a weird one for the food court. Slime time. Oh yeah, these slime joints are popping up everywhere. You want to go get slime dump on you? Doesn't that sound great? Nah, <laughs> I don't think that's what happens there. I don't know what. I, I think it's like throwing stuff at walls, right? I think you just make your own slime and... Oh, it's a Stir Fry 88. Stir Fry 88. Stir Fry oh, 88 that's one of rocks. my favorites. Stir Fry 88 fucking rocks. Oh, pardon my language. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sometimes 
Sometimes we're just in our own little zone, and then, you know. I forgot the camera was on. Yeah. <laughs> Forget nice neon. On. Look at that neon. That's, a, that that's a great neon sign. <laughs> that is fabulous. But yeah, this is... This place is food court. By the way, Burger King looks like either it's closed for the day or it's done. I think it's probably done. It's it not looks, that late. It looks rather done and it looks like the Philly States. See, I, th I think done. Charlie's is done. It's weird because I lots of people love Charlie's, but they keep disappearing. <laughs> Another great oh, neon right. sign. That's yeah. another great neon sign. Check more that great out. Great neon. I love the neon. That's a great neon sign. I think we got a little more over here. Oh yeah, there's a cookie place. Nestle Toll House. You don't see too many of those anymore either. Yeah, they got rid of the one that was in um, Willow Grove. I think there's like some kind of a smoothie joint or something like that there now. Yeah, something like that. But, but yeah, they got oh, wait. independent access to the um, one, food court. One more thing. From outdoors. But yeah, Annie Ann's. Annie Ann's down here. At least they can get a mall pretzel. It ain't gonna be the best, but they'll be mall pretzel. Hey, nice pretzel. dog. Look at this dog. Oh, I love your dog. That is fantastic. Yeah, pretty good food court. Yeah, it's like you have some options here. You know, you've got like all your basics covered. The last time I was in pocket change, there wasn't some guy barking at me the whole time. <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of an overview of the food court here, and it's like, it's pretty respectable. Yeah, it's not bad. A lot of places have far worse. Hey, they got Stir Fry 88, I'm happy, you know? Yeah, it's like one of these days when we're not in the mood for Permanis or something like that, we should... Give that a whirl. Yeah, see if it stacks up. I have a feeling it does. It might even be better than the one we have back home. Here we are again, about to head down another spoke of the wheel. This is the former Bonton wing. Bonton is no longer with us. They left us three years ago. But everybody's favorite hermit crab came to town. Yeah. Now's the time to say welcome to school Halloween season. <laughs> Hardly any down market places in this in, in this uh, store. I know it's like you know you're not finding any Simpson stores in here. Are you familiar with this place it's called Box Lunch? Yeah, yeah. It's basically kind of like a bunch of like, collectible types of things and stuff well, it's, over there. It's the same company that owns Hot Topic, only it's not Gothy. <laughs> yeah. And it's like it's like you know higher end. I had no idea who they were. I thought it was a food place. <laughs> I yeah, well, with the name Lunch in the title, that's what, what I mean. you think. But, I, you know. I thought it was a food place. And oh, I went and looked it up the other day. I'm no. like, where's the food at? And of course, Urban Outfitters. And the cool thing about Urban Outfitters is that we're not far from the headquarters. Well, at least the main distribution center. Of course, that's where everybody in the mall is. The Apple Store, right? <laughs> Gotta be at the Apple Store and be seen at the Apple Store. I don't know. Just the thought of that idea just kind of bores me. Well, of course it bores you. <laughs> it doesn't bore a lot of people, though. But can you believe Spirit of Halloween? Well, at least, they're, at least they're using the building again. Yeah. yeah. It was a very nice Bonton store, one of the best ones I've ever been to. Yeah, it was definitely one of the nicer Bontons. So I don't know if they have... I don't think they have much of, you know, the old store left, though, unfortunately. Well, no, of course. It's just a box with pillars in it now. But I've been to some pretty scuzzy bontons in my time. Remember that one over in Washington? Oh, yeah. Jeez. Washington Crown Center? That was bad. It felt like you were going to get sick in that place. Honestly, even the one in, um, even the one in Indiana Mall wasn't that great. So, yeah. Yay. Spirit Halloween. There she is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, you got to love people who yell across the mall for kids. Isn't that great? They got these, uh... Escalator's blocked off here. You can't take them anymore. 
Yeah, just, just, just yell across the entire mall, lady. Come on. We're not going to tour the Spirit Halloween. I'll leave that up to Nate. It looks like a pretty big one. I've seen some pretty small spirits before. Look at that, though. They have like a photo spot over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Oh, here we go. Finally, a directory I can look at. See, now you can see what I'm talking about with, with the whole spoke wheel thing. See that? You got, you got your center court right there. You know, the big tent, and then you got a bunch of spokes coming out. You are here. <laughs> yep. Of course, you always have a have a duck. <laughs> so that about covers it for the major anchor wings. All we have left are a couple of tiny little hallways that only have a few things in them. So let's just let's just go bang them out real quick and see what we can find. You know, this is what they call the South Shops wing. They got South Shops, Fountain Shops and east shops and we came in the fountain shops and so we only got two left and like i said they're very very small so we'll just walk the complete wing this time they still have a gertrude hawk in here oh that's good i know they've been leaving some malls there's a eyebrow, eyebrow threading place. beauty place here and a loft and gypsy moth. I don't know what that is. Sounds like a tattoo show. <laughs> oh, I was right. That's a tattoo and piercing show. But that just drops you off at the doors here, so wind it around. Just another way in or out of the mall. Well, that's that's just it. You have entrances to the outside, and then you have anchors on the other ones. You know. But the ones that have the entrances aren't, aren't very big. There's only a few things in them. Quite very few vacancies in this place. I don't see hardly any vacancies at all. Yeah, it's like the most I saw was down the old Bonton end, honestly. Yeah, and by vacancies, they're talking about two or three. You know, it, yeah, it, it, ain't, yeah. it ain't like a, a rot. It ain't like seared. And it's like the round one is saving that end right about now. Yeah, that round one's pretty hopping. All right, so let's head right on over to the eat house. Can't get enough of that center court and that round shape, the neon. Well, the recessed neon. That's awesome. There we go, East Shops. What do we got? Pretty much just Forever 21 on the one side, that's it. Yeah, Forever 21 is a respectable junior anchor in this place. Yeah, it takes up a whole wing, look at it. <laughs> Aeropostale, Michael Kors. Yeah, that's about it. A couple more things down here, let's go check that. Oh, it's a nail salon. Okay. It's a nail salon and a closed business. There's another uh, vacancy right there. That's unfortunate. But you can see Forever 21 takes up all of this real estate. Heart check. Heat check. What is what is the heat check? I have no idea what that is, but it's not even technically a vacancy. It's just they've moved to a different spot. Oh, down they just by round one. they just moved down by round one. Well, or so says the sign. Seems seems that's the place to be where where all the kids are, right? 
But yeah, that's that's going to about do it for our tour of the Park City Center this year. I say this year because you know there's more coming. Oh yeah. We like to keep tabs on these properties. You know, because you never know how far and how fast the property is going to slide. I read today that Emerald Square Mall, formerly a Hopping Simon Mall, we were there three years ago and it was doing pretty good. Got sold to the dreaded Mike Cohan today. Yeah, that's never good news because the guy just doesn't care. It's like he's one of these absentee owners. He's like a slumlord in a lot of ways. He is a slumlord. <laughs> you know, and it's, it's surprising to me that that mall fell that hard in three years. I just can't believe it. So this is why I'm saying, like, keep tabs on your properties, your malls in your area, because you never know when they're going to slide. When, when they slide, they take all the good stuff out. You know, they take out the neon, they take out the fountains if there's any, they take out anything that looks cool, because it costs money. Even the good malls are taking out aesthetic features like fountains. Exactly. So, you don't want to be a vulture. You don't want to wait until your mall is dead to go film it. Don't be a vulture. You want to make sure people know what your cool mall looked like when it was still cool. But yeah, that's going to do it for this tour of the Park City Center Mall. This is Heather on behalf of Raw and Rural Retail. We really appreciate you joining us for this epic trip to one of the bigger malls that is in the state and one that's actually doing quite well for itself and we're happy to report that that trend is continuing so until next episode thanks for watching stay tuned for more thanks a lot for watching everyone this one has been real fun and i really appreciate you taking the time i hope you all have a great day this is triple r over now <laughs>